assalamu alaikum welcome to our channel botany with youtube today i am here a phd scholar i am going to present a topic selopsida you can see here the diagram contents of our video are selopsida introduction xylotum its example taxonomic position journal structure internal structure reproduction fertilization and alternation of generation selopsida this group includes vascular plants without true leaves and roots the plant body is only composed of root and some feature of this group are and listed below the plant body is rootless sporophyte that differentiate into a underground rhizome and an aerial erect shoots branching is dicotmus in both subterranean rhizome and aerial shoot the large rhizoids born on the rhizome absorb water and nutrients from the soil on the aerial shoots spirally arranged scale like leaves and uh, leaf like appendages for example in xylotum botany with youtube is our channel if you are new in our channel then please please try to subscribe our channel firstly types xylotum you can see here the diagram of xylotum xylotum is distributed in tropical and subtropical regions it may grow as an epiphyte on the bark of trees it also grow on soil where humus is abundantly available taxonomic position dwien silophyta class order family genus is xylotum general structure you can see here in diagram sporangia scale like outgrowth or leaves mature sporophytic body aerial stem and rhizome the plant body is sporophyte the plant is a small shrub the plant body is differentiated into rhizome and aerial branches rhizome is underground part of the stem leaves and root are absent in rhizome rhizome develop rhizoids for absorption of water aerial branches aerial branches arise from the rhizome aerial branches are green and cylindrical at the base these branches are dicotmously branched leaves are present on aerial branches these leaves are small and scale like they are irregularly scattered over these branches you can see here the structure of xylotum sporangium sporangium is a compartment or a box where the spores are born or spores are present you can see here in diagram the structure of sporangium sporangia are born in triads they have very short stalk they are born in the exile of small bifid leaves on the aerial branches these triads of sporangia is called synangium the two lobes of leaf are clo closely united with the synangium internal structure you can see here in diagram the morphological structure of plant and now we will 
discuss the internal structure aerial branches in transverse section the aerial branches have central steel cortex the cortex is covered by a single layered epidermis stomata are present in the epidermis the inner part of cortex is formed of parenchymatous cell outer of this parenchyma are few layer of sclerenchyma cells these cell in outermost part of the cortex are rich in chloroplast cambium is absent in the stem steel there is a well developed endodermis between the steel and the cortex the xylem is actinostelic it has six rays rhizome the structure of rhizome is similar to that of the aerial branches but pith or sclerenchymatous tissues are not present leaves the leaves have small structure the epidermis is formed of cutaneous cell botany with youtube is our channel share our channel share our video with your other students and other researchers reproduction in xylotum vegetative reproduction will be occur vegetative reproduction take place by the death of the older part of the rhizome the younger part of rhizome separate from the dead rhizome they grow as long as independent plants sometime the upper cell of rhizoids divide and produce a small gamma the gamma develop into a new rhizome after detachment means vegetative reproduction will be occur due to the part of the plant body when any part of the body any outgrowth bud or any dead decaying remaining part of the plant body and they have ability to produce another new plant then this type of reproduction will called vegetative reproduction sporangium you can see here the structure of sporangium xylotum is homosporous sporangia from groups of three on short stalks this stalk is present in the axil of small bifid leaves the group of three fused spor uh, sporangia is called synangium it is believed that synangium is sporo one branch terminate in a sporangium but the other branch again divide into two branches each of which terminates in a sporangium thus it produce closely united three sporangia you can see here in diagram three sporangia appendages scale like leaf synangium aerial stem sporophytes development of sporangia each sporangia develop from a superficial cell of the sporangium four this cell divide transversely into a outer jacket initial cell and an inner archosporial initial cells the jacket initial cell divide to produce wall this wall is 4 to 5 cell thick the archosporial initial divide to produce mass of archosporial cells and tapetum is not produced in xylotum in the mature sporangium some of the archosporial cells become elongated they are filled with the, uh, dense cytoplasmic contents these cell act as a spore mother cells each spore mother cell undergoes meiosis and produces four spores the rest of the archosporial cells disintegrate to form protoplasmic mass or tapetal fluid 
इट नरिशिज द डिवेलपिंग स्पोर्स गमेटोफाइट यू कैन सी हेयर द रेड्यूज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ गमेटोफाइट आर्जिगोनियम एंड एंथ्रीडिया आर द ऑर्गन विच आर प्रोड्यूज ऑन गमेटोफिटिक बॉडी Each spores germinate to produce a small thallus gametophyte or prothallus. The gametophyte is colorless, substratum means endochrome. It has one or two or more than short dicotomous branches. Gametophyte is infested with mycorrhizal fungi. Anthridium. Anthridia are produced earlier than Archegonia. The mature anthridium has globular structure. It projects out on the surface of gametophyte. Development of anthridium. Each anthridium develops from a single superficial cell. It divides into an outer initial and an inner primary. androgonial cells the jacket initial divide to produce a single layer wall the primary androgonial cell divide to produce a mass of androcyst or anthrozoic mother cells archegonium the mature archegonium consist of neck and basal cells the neck contain one or two neck cells or neck canal cells the basal part is embedded in the gametophytic tissue it is without any well defined venter it contain a single large oosphere or egg development of archegonium each archegonium develop from a single superficial cell it divide transversely into a upper primary cover cell and a lower central cell the primary cover cell divide to produce a group of four neck initial cells the neck initial cells divide to produce neck and the central cell divide transversely into a primary neck canal cells and a primary venter canal cells the primary venter canal cells function as an act directly botany with youtube is our channel you can see here the logo of our channel like our channel like our video and if you have any question you can ask us in comment section and if you want to share your point of view related to our topic you can also discuss us with in comment section fertilization the neck canal cells of mature archegonium disintegrate it produce a spore through which anthrozoid enter the archegonium only one anthrozoid fuses with the oosphere or egg to produce oospore development of sporophyte the oospore divides transversely into a upper and a lower cell the lower cell by further division produce a foot and foot buried into the tissue of the prothallus the upper cell divides to produce a mass of cell its one or two peripheral cells act as a apical cell the apical cell divides and increase in the size of embryo the gametophytic tissues completely surround the young embryo like calyptra in early stages the embryo by further growth become rhizome rhizome develop aerial di dicotomous branches you can see here in diagram the life cycle of sylotum alternation of generation in the alternation of generation in short i want to say that the gametophytic body have ability to produce sporophytic body and sporophytic body have ability to produce again gametophytic body this type of 
alternation a process is called alternation of generation one generation have ability to produce another and uh, another have ability to produce again the other okay read this paragraph Silotum show regular alternation of generation the vegetative plant is sporophyte it produces haploid spore by meiosis and spore germinate to give rise to the prothallus or gametophyte the prothallus produce anthridia and archegonia fertilization produce diploid oospore oospore give rise to the sporophytic body the sporophyte and gametophyte alternate with each other life cycle of silotum you can see here in diagram sporophytic body of silotum it have synangium in synangium meiosis will be occur and spores will produce these spores will be fall down on ground with the help of water air or uh, they will disperse and uh, fall down on ground and produce gametophyte gametophyte produce gametes male gametes will called anthridium or anthridium will produce anthrozoites and another female gamete is called archegonium and archegonium have ability to produce egg and then the male gamete move towards the archegonium or egg then the fertilization occur zygote formation occur and after zygote embryo formation will be occur and after the embryonic sporophytic body the mature silotum will be develop mature sporophytic body will be developed from embryo thanks to visit our channel thanks for your concentration for your attention good luck to all of you allah hafiz